Hi, welcome to the C-sharp tutorial. The last tutorial we looked at passing an array into a method in a different class. And passing an array, an array is an object. And so if you can pass an array into a method, you can also pass a whole object. A whole object of a class which can have lots and lots of methods variables and different stuff inside it to be accessed inside a method. So we're going to show you how to pass an, an object into a method. And what we are passing is we're passing objects by value. We're not passing by reference and we'll explain that later. Uh, the difference. To pass by reference you put ref keyword in front of it and we will do this. Um, the difference between value and reference, when you pass by value, you pass that actual value of a variable or a string or an array. And so whatever you do with that will not change your original variable into a string array because um, it's a copy. But if you pass by reference, what you're doing is you're passing the original not just value but the ref the, the original variable in memory. So any changes that you'll make to it will change that what is stored in memory and so it'll be a permanent change to what you pass into that method. So that's the difference between reference, passing by reference and passing by value. But what we're doing at the moment is passing by value. So what we're going to do to do is today is pass by object pass an object a whole class into a variable that this is what we passed the last tutorial was an array and we created the array up here assigned all the values so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the second class and we've got this string put into the second class and new name and so new name is this. So we're going to pass a string into this method first before we go into objects. And so we'll go back to programs. And if we create a string, call it name equals um, YouTube. Right. And so if we take this one away, we're not using this now, but we showed the FUD class for passing arrays. What we're going to do is we're going to use the second class. We're going to use the second class for demonstrating for demonstrating passing um, objects and strings. So we, the the word the the name we've given to this object created is second, so we'll access it with second. So we'll go second dot and we want this method, second class method, brackets so we can pass something in. And in here we're going to pass a string and the string we created was called name. And that's up here and it's YouTube. So if we run this method, if we run the program now, that net method will print out YouTube. YouTube. And that's from that method. And that was so what happened here is we we created we we created we well we created a method beforehand and we run we ran this method in an other tutorial without passing anything into it. But what we done is we added string. We're passing a string and we, we, we gave it a name, new name. So what we've done is we create a string called name equals new name. This equals whatever was passed in. And then we printed it on the screen. That's why YouTube came about. Well, that's why YouTube it was printed to screen. And so then what we've done is we, we've called this class by the object that we created gave it the past name name was created as a string and we put YouTube into it so we ran it 
YouTube was passed into the, the method and the, the method took YouTube here and um, we said string equal name equals YouTube and then we printed out name we could just print out that itself and it would still work but but this is the way I've done it so just to show you how you can assign things and make things different so so that's how you do a string what we're going to do now is an object right and so the object <coughs> we're going to pass the first class object right and so way we would do this is where you've got a string you give the name of the class um, and because the class is part of this package we don't have to give a whole directory of names it knows where it is but if it wasn't then we would have to t tell the compiler C sharp where to find this class but we don't have to do that so it's just a name so we'll go first class you can see it's changed colour that's it you know it's okay it's an object so first class and it's recognised that and we, d we can call it whatever we want again this is just so we can access it so we'll go first class FC that's good enough so that's what we've, we've, we've this is what we've done to take away the string that's what we've done to access FC so if we go FC dot FC dot we get access to all the we get access to all the the files and methods and all the rest of it. So if we go to the first class method I don't know if it needs something passed to it. An integer. So if we do twenty two And if we run a program, then um, well, we'll need to take this away here because we've took away name. Okay. Right. And w what that's telling you is, and and when we call the when we call the method, we give it the wrong argument because we've still got name, we've still got a string there. And so what we'll do is first class well we don't need to do first class what we do is it's called second so we just need to go second let's get being fast uh, if I can yeah, I'm not doing this tutorial for real sorry it's uh, second first class well, it's first bit passing sorry and see that all that's disappeared. So we've passed the first object, the class object, into here. And so in the second one, what we've, t we've told it is going to be of object first class, and we're going to call what if it's passed into FC. So if we run this program now, 34 is printed. So what we've done there is Normally you would put string, int, int, or you'd put a int with square brackets for an array, or you would put um, string, square brackets for an array. But we're not doing an integer or a string, we're doing a class. And so it's an object of a class. And so we tell, we tell C sharp, what's the name of this object? And that's the name of the object here first class and what if we were given what if we were given this value will allow us to access in this method any methods that's in that class now remember you could have a class that's to do with with sound and it's all different um, acoustics and different things like that I, I, I don't know what to think of to explain to it but you would have a class with lots of different methods um, and lots of different things that you can do with that class and so to pass a class to an object means that you can do a lot more things a, a method pass a class in a method 
means there's a lot more things you can do um, inside that method and so it's very useful to pass a, an object to a method but that's how you do it um, and so again I hope that's helped um, and in the future we'll look at passing by reference and what we've just done is pass by value you have changed this at all oh, sorry um, it's swapped around there so it did first class there and so if we change this number we pass to it and make it 9 run the program it's 41 because th to remember in the first class we're adding 12 to whatever number we're put putting in so it became 41 so again thank you for your time and I hope that's